Okay, this is going to be a tutorial for the basics of using HTML. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do new and text document because I want to start with just plain text. I don't want any extra characters or junk in there. And I'm going to change this to webpage.htm. It doesn't really matter what you call it. I usually do all lowercase. I never put spaces in my web page names and I usually end in HTM. Some people will say you have to do HTML and when I click OK it's going to say if you rename this it may be unusable and I just go ahead and click yes. You can see it changed the icon and that's because it made it into a web page. If I right click this and do open with and I don't want to do WordPad, I want to do Notepad because WordPad and other word processors will put extra control codes and you know things like that in it. Now to start with I want to do what basically all web pages and you know it's one of those things never say never use always or never but basically for what we're gonna do all web pages begin with HTML these little brackets here mean that this is a tag okay so whenever you begin something you have to also end it almost always <laughs> just go with me here so a slash HTML means end HTML. So we have begin HTML, end HTML. Okay, now so at the very top of an HTML file, just like the top of a, um, a human, is head. And again, if you begin a head, end the head. And then after the head is the body. Begin the body, end the body. All right. So this looks really confusing, and I know it's going to be a little bit weird. Um, sometimes, you know, you can move some stuff out a little bit if you want to help see the formatting. And you can also add spaces. For example, in my body, I'm going to move it down a ways by itself so that I can put stuff in the body. Okay, now if I was to just save this as is, it doesn't look like anything happened, but if I double-click it, come on, let's open it with Internet Explorer. Okay, so you can see that it's basically just this blank page right now. I'm going to minimize this so we can see this again. And for my head, inside the head, I'm going to put something called title and I'm going to say this is my cool new web page. And I'm going to end the title. Now notice that I put this and this on the same line. That is okay. Um, I'm going to save it, and I'm going to open my page, and you'll see nothing is different. But if I hit refresh, you'll see this up here changed. This is my cool new web page. Okay, so that was how easy it was for us to change the title of the page. And there's other things that can go in head later, but we're not going to worry about it right now. If you were to type in the body, like this is a test, and click save, and refresh, you'll see that it ends up on your web page. All right. If I go to the next line and say, I hope this works, it probably won't. And I do save and jump back over and refresh, you'll see it puts it all on the same line. What it needs to do in HTML is you need to have something saying this is the end of the line or the beginning of a new line. For example, if I do um, at the end of this line, a BR and a BR, and some HTML coders are going to look at this and cringe, and a BR, that just means break. All right? So if I was to open my page now and hit refresh, they all are broken to a new line. All right? And so the other thing is, if I wanted something here to be centered, I just say, center in a bracket and then after I want the centering to stop I push slash center or in center. If I want something to be bold I can put it inside the the paragraph here it's not gonna matter because these are hidden I'm gonna do bracket B and over at the end I'm gonna do slash or bracket slash B and if I want something to be italic I'll do bracket I and over here I'm gonna do bracket slash I if I want something um, underlined, I can do bracket U. And over here, bracket slash U. And I'm going to save it. 
and refresh, centered, underline, bold, italicized. All right, so you can see that it looks like a bunch of gobbledygook in here, but it really does make sense if you start to kind of break it down. Now, this is important when you get into doing things on, you know, your blog or something. There's almost always a place for you to go in and enter code. So if you want to put in a source uh, or um, a picture, I could do bracket img src equals, and this means image source equals, and then I type in the name of my picture. Now, in order for this to work, my picture has to be in the same folder as my web page unless I specify a different folder. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try this and save, and I'm going to refresh. Okay, so you can see now that I've added pictures, um, you know, and here's, here's another thing that you can do that will drive coders crazy, and that is to put in a marquee. M-A-R-Q-U-E-E, -E, and I can say, welcome to my first web page, and then end marquee. Now, when you save it and refresh it, you have a scrolling marquee coming across. This will also work with a picture if you have a little airplane with a little tail flying or something. But that's a basic introduction to HTML using Notepad and a regular browser. Now, I'm going to show you another tutorial that will have a lot more detail, but you know, I wanted to get you started just so that you understand how HTML is laid out and how it can be useful. Thanks a lot.